morning, boys and girls. Oh. <laughs> Well, the pastor already mentioned today is a special day. Did you hear what special day he said it was? Mother's Day. Have you done anything at home yet for your moms for this special day? You got her favorite flowers, lilacs. Did you pick them outside? Yeah, they smell so beautiful. I'm sure she loved them. Did you guys do anything yet? What'd you do? You went to Olive Garden yesterday for dinner and wished her a happy Mother's Day. Wow, that was very nice. Well, my boys, um, they both had work today, so they surprised me yesterday early with Mother's Day gifts, too. Um, my one son got me a box of homemade fudge and another box of chocolate-covered strawberries. They know I like sweets. And I got some beautiful flowers. So they made my day special yesterday. Well, not all gifts have to come in boxes, though. So we're going to learn today about how gifts can come a different way. So I want to share with you a Bible verse. It's from James chapter 1, verse 17. And it says, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from above from the Father of lights, with whom there's no variation or shadow due to change. Now in that Bible verse, it says a gift from God. Do you know somebody is special that's a gift from God to you? Today? Your moms. Your moms are a wonderful gift from God. Sometimes God gives us gifts and people, and shapes of people, like your moms and dads. And he gives us special people like moms to raise us, teach us to be kind, and to teach us about God. Your mom's teaching you about God by bringing you to church today. So I brought a box with me. The pastor gave me these boxes, and this works perfect for today. I have a special gift in this box that's very expensive. More expensive than jewels or a fast race car. More valuable than silver. Um, something that's very, very special to me. And do you know what it is? It's my mom. It's a picture of my mom. She's very special to me. She makes me feel special every day. And I want you to make your moms feel special every day. They, our moms do a lot for us. They take care of us. I bet your mom, I bet she made breakfast for you this morning, didn't she? She helped you get breakfast ready? Or did you get your own breakfast? You got your own breakfast? Good for you. But I bet your mom helps you a lot. Did she help you pick those clothes out for church today? Maybe she helped you pick them out. She drove you to church today, didn't she? She brought you to church today to learn about God. Well, moms do a lot of special things for us. So I'm going to give you a box to take home today. And I want you to put a picture of your mom in your box. Because I know your moms are special to you. And then put this box somewhere in your bedroom, maybe on your dresser, or somewhere where you'll see this box every so often. And may, let it help you think about how God gave you your mom to take care of you. And we need to thank her for being special to us. And you don't have to give gifts to your moms all the time. Just a special thank you for being special to you and taking care of you is all you need to do. So when you look at this box, let it remind you of your mom and how much she does for you. And tell her thank you. Give her a great big hug. Just thank you for making breakfast. Or thank you for taking you to school. Okay? So our moms are special gifts from God. Remember that, okay? All right. Let's say a little prayer. Dear God, thank you so much for my mom. She's a very special gift in my life. Thank you for helping her to take such good care of me. Thanks for loving us and being there for us. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. And here's a